Hey guys, welcome to the second vlog. I'm just on my way to the Toronto Eaton Center again for a Karastas Time Sephora event. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. And I'm walking and I'm already out of breath. Let's go. really tired and I don't have my eyebrows on and that's because I'm about to go get some microblading done I've never done it but as you can see I really need it done I'm really excited my brows take me the longest in my morning routine it takes like 10 or 15 minutes for me to get these done and then they don't always turn out looking the same and they or my eyebrow pencil will rub off in the middle of the day so i'm really excited to just get this done and have some brows that i hope i'm really happy with and just minimize that time spent on them in the day and just have some slay insta worthy brows so i'm going to take you guys with me today so take a good look this is going to be the before millhouse lower those eyebrows and the other one basically an upside down Nike swoosh is how you could define my eyebrows in their current state. We want to make sure you come back for your touch up because your tissue from the surface and the underneath is fully healed. Okay. Yeah, a lot of time, like if you see people that say they'll come in in two weeks because it looks like the surface is healed, yeah. But your tissue underneath is still building itself back up. Same thing with your pigmentation, right? So. Wow, it looks like effing good, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. That's I really good like it. <laughs> One week later. It's really cold out today in Toronto. The lighting is bad here, um, but I am just wearing this Aritzia Stedman coat, which you've seen in a bunch of my videos. This is an old scarf from Joe Fresh, which is a grocery store. Aritzia blazer. It's the brown Margot blazer. 1920 New York plain crew neck t-shirt. And the Wilfred Essie pants from Aritzia and my Acne Studios boots. So this is what I'm wearing today. Got some lippy from Bite Beauty and my toque is from Aritzia too because it's fucking cold out today. So let's go. <laughs>
so I've kind of forgotten to vlog the rest of my day, so I just went home from the Sicily event, shot a couple of outfits, some content that I had to shoot for the weeks coming up. Uh, now uh, it's a Sephora sale, so I thought about just going to check out the sale and maybe I'll do a little mini haul for you guys in this vlog, so. I don't wanna go too, too crazy. I don't need a lot of stuff, but I just wanted to stock up on some of my skincare um, and maybe try a couple of other things, but we'll see, we'll see what we get. And the lighting is garbage, but this is what we got to take home from the Sicily event, so I just put it in this little mason jar that I wrapped a little twine ribbon thing around it to make it, you know, super Pinterest, but yeah, they had this little like flower bouquet making station, which was so cute. And I just love how green this is. There's just like a couple of roses and some pops of yellow, um, which is Sicily's like main color. But look how aesthetic my table looks now. Yay. Oh, and I was able to snag this from the event, so. Hey guys, so I think last time I was vlogging with you, I took you guys with me to Sephora to check out the VIB sale. The VIB Rouge sale is this weekend, and there were a couple of things I had my eye on that I wanted to pick up. I didn't go too, too crazy this year. Um, I think I'm starting to really kind of understand what I like, and if you guys didn't see, I did do a makeup declutter here, and I have way too much makeup, and I definitely don't need more, but I still got some things. I know, it's bad, but I wanna show you what I got. So I mostly picked up some skincare items. Um, some things I did replace, like some of the products that I regularly use, and there were some things that I wanted to try. So the VIB sale is a great time to try out products you've been eyeing, especially if they're really expensive, um, because you get 20% off. So I picked up two things from the brand Pharmacy. They're like a green, clean beauty type of brand. It's cruelty free. They save the bees. And I've used their facial kind of essence spray before. I really like the way it smells and it felt really hydrating, but I didn't really love the pump bottle that they have. I don't know if they have reformulated that pump bottle, but I've heard a couple of things about some of their items. So the first thing I picked up was the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm with Echinacea and Green Envy. So this is just a like balm makeup remover. It's kind of like the Clinique Take the Day Off. I've already used a little bit of it and it's really cute. It comes with like a little spatula, so this is really kind of hygienic. But you just um, kind of take a bit in your hands and warm it up and it turns into like this oil and I've used it for the past couple of nights to take off my makeup and so far I really like it. It smells really good. It does a really good job of taking off my makeup. The only thing I do notice is that there's almost kind of like a hazy sort of residue left over around my eyes so I feel like my vision is a little bit blurry after using this but that does go away just because I do work it into my lashes really really well to get out the mascara but this is like one of their hero products and I really wanted to try it. So far, I really like it. I'll keep you guys posted though on how it works for me. And then the next product that I picked up from Pharmacy, I got it because it's supposed to be another dupe for my like all-time favorite Drunk Elephant TLC from Ooze Gly Glycolic Serum. This stuff is like my hero in terms of helping with texture and bumps and if I have any like really mean zits, like I'm having like a breakout right here if you guys can see. And these are like really painful under the skin bumps that like do not want to come to a head. They just feel really bruisey and inflamed and this stuff really helps sort of calm that down and calm it down a little bit faster. I am running low on this and it is pretty expensive. So I heard that the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow, it's an AHA resurfacing night serum with hydrating honey and gentle flower acids. And this is supposed to be a dupe for the Drunk Elephant Serum. A lot of the reviews I saw online were very similar, so it's just like a, hello. 
So it's just like a retexturizing night serum with AHAs and BHAs in there, so it also helps with hydration. I've used this for the past couple of nights, and so far I'd ha I do really like it. This zit right here, it's still pretty mean and inflamed, but a few nights ago before I used this, like it's brought that kind of anger angriness down on my chin and I've noticed that when I like on anywhere else on my face I tend to get these little like bumps like these textured bumps all over my skin and it's like my skin is very congested and prone to being very congested and this on the rest of my face has really helped so far so I'm gonna give this another um, a try for like a month or I'll use up this bottle to see how it compares to the drunk elephant and I'll keep you guys posted on that so the next few bits I picked up I picked up one thing for hair care which girl needs it and a couple of makeup items I didn't go too too crazy though I didn't really buy any crazy palettes that I've been eyeing I just you know I just kind of stuck with some basics that I keep thinking oh I don't have anything like that so I'm gonna get it this time so for the hair care I've used this before and I have stopped using it lately my hair game is not good okay I just need to kind of focus on my really flat oily non-textured hair as you can see here and I've used this before I ran out of it and then I just didn't think about repurchasing it again so I thought I would pick it up again and give it another try and that's the way texturizing hairspray I thought that this really didn't do much for me when I had it before and so I just decided to start using dry shampoo to like replace that sort of texture that I want but I find that the dry shampoo doesn't hold texture or make your hair sort of gritty and just more like cool girls, like kind of second or third day looking hair as much as the way texturizing spray does. The one thing I do remember about this is it has a really, really strong scent. I don't know how much I remember liking that. I'm pretty sensitive when it comes to scents, but I do remember liking the way it kind of added a little bit of grit and just a little zhuzh to my hair. So I kind of want to just like up my hair game again and a good texturizing spray with the way I like to wear it is sort of like effortless sort of beachy waves. Um, I'm just gonna see how this sort of helps that. This is like a hero product, a lot of people love it, so I'm gonna give it another go. And then in terms of makeup, I picked up a couple of things. The first thing I will show you is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Illumination. Color Correcting Illuminating Full Coverage Cream Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum SPF 50 UVA UBV Physical Sunscreen Protection This is the longest name ever, but apparently this shit is supposed to be awesome. In my makeup declutter, I did have the original CC cream, but I saw a couple of my friends, again, wearing this stuff, and they told me it was the illuminating version, and the way her skin looked, it looked like she was just like this sweaty but in a good way dewy goddess that I really that I'm just all about and I want my skin to look like that so I decided to actually exchange the original for the illuminating one I got it in the shade fair this is supposed to I think this they said this has like crushed diamonds or something crazy in it uh, I don't really know I don't know what adds the glow and I do have oily skin but whatever I don't mind looking like an oil slick, so I am gonna give this a try and see if I can recreate that from above, lit from within, candlelit, sweaty goddess glow with this stuff. Have any of you guys tried this? Let me know, and let me know how it compares to the original. I'm really curious. Okay, the next thing I picked up is, I've been hearing a lot about this, and I did just get my eyebrows microbladed. This is about week two, so all the crusties have sort of come off and the pigment is starting to come through and I really like the result. So I was told not to wear any makeup on it for about two weeks, so now I'm just going to start putting back my eyebrow gel into the mix so that it just makes whatever is there look a little bit more feathery and a little bit more textured because I am still obsessed with that sort of feathery brow. My favorite has always been the Glossier Boy Brow, but I've been hearing a lot about the Milk Makeup Kush brow gel. I picked up the color Dutch, which I think is the medium color. I think there's only three, four shades. I think it's like blonde, um, a medium brown, a dark brown, and then like a clear. Claire Marshall talked about this and she said that she really liked it. So I'm going to give this a try. don't really know too much about how fibrous or how how many like if this is like a fiber gel or more of like a color or like more like a gel to add color to your brows. Um, it's supposed to be infused with like CBD oil, so it's supposed to be conditioning for the brow hairs that are already there, so I'm just gonna give this a shot and see how I like it. I've heard good things about the Kush mascara, so 
And then I've heard kind of mixed reviews on the Kush brows. Some people really like it and some people really don't, so I will keep you posted. So I don't know if you saw in my makeup declutter, I have like 10,000 red lipsticks, like different variations of a red lipstick, and that's probably my go-to color when it comes to wearing any lip color at all. But one thing I did think that I was missing in my collection is just like a nice nude lipstick. One of my favorite formulas for lipstick is from Bite Beauty. They're a Muse Bouche lipstick line. It's just really creamy really pigmented they don't go too matte they don't dry up or crumble on your lip it's just like a really smooth and comfortable lipstick to wear so I decided to pick up their nude shade in honeycomb so it's just this really nice like pinky nude shade I really don't know how this is going to turn out on my lips because I have I actually I don't know if you can see on camera but my lips are actually pretty pigmented so a lot of nudes tend to look very brown on me and almost a little bit 90s, which is not what I'm really looking for. So I am sort of on the hunt for a nice nude lipstick that works for me. Otherwise they go a little bit too pale. Just a nude lip is really hard to find. So this smells really good too. So yeah, I don't know. That was one swipe. What do you think of that color on me? Like it is new, I don't know, nude, nude lipstick to me is like really tricky. I tend to stick to the, the reds and the pinks because it does tend to look like this. I don't know if you guys like it or not. Tell me what you think. Does it wash me out? Is it too peach? Is it too light? Like, I don't really know. Do you have any recommendations for a nude lipstick? Like, what is your favorite? This is in the shade Honeycomb. I don't know if it's because I'm like not wearing, I'm only wearing like mascara right now and, and a little bit of concealer. All my other makeup has kind of washed off. So does this wash me out? Does it, is it your lips but better? I can't tell. Let me know what you think of that honeycomb shade. It feels really nice on the lips. It smells really good, but I still can't quite tell if a nude lip is for me. And then the other thing I picked up from Bite Beauty is their French press lip gloss. So they have this new line that's like very coffee inspired, which I am all about. And I picked up the shade salted caramel. I don't know if you can see that. So it's this kind of like praline -y nude lip gloss. I've never tried a lip gloss from Bite Beauty. This looks pretty pigmented. I'm just gonna top it over the honeycomb. It smells like a latte, which is really cool. It smells like coffee for sure. That feels really nice. It smells really good. It's not too strong, but mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll try it on its own. I don't know if these nudes are my color as much as I try. Let me know what you think. So that's it for my mini Sephora VIB haul. Let me know what you guys got during the sale or what you're planning to get. I am always so curious, although it does add to my things I didn't know I needed kind of list, which could be a problem. I think I'll end the vlog here because there's not much more going on. I'm waiting for some sushi to come in that I can start chowing down on and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.